Good morning, St. Matthew family. It's Pastor Farrow. I'm sitting in my car here outside of the church getting ready to go in and work on some uh, newsletter uh, materials uh, for this coming up newsletter and working on worship this weekend and catch up on some calls, some of the things that I've been doing in the church um, during this time of quarantine. Uh, my prayer is with you this day as we enter this new week. And on this Tuesday morning, I want to offer you uh, a word of encouragement. Um, I'm sitting here um, outside of the church and, uh, and, and looking at this lawn here. This is April 21st. Um, as you know, April 20th was when we were going to have our lawn concert with Lancaster Catholic High School and that uh, cooperation there with the concert so it was interesting I don't know if you did the same thing but I was watching the weather last night and I, I right at six o'clock between six seven eight o'clock I watched the weather to see what it would have been like um, and it was bright and sunny it was amazing how the Sun shone through around 6 30 or 7 o'clock and then got a little cloudy but it was you know high 50s <clears throat> didn't quite hit 60 I don't think I think people would have been bundled up for the concert but we didn't have our concert and you know sometimes that it that just happens sometimes in life we don't understand why it is that things don't happen but we serve a faithful God and and God knows what God is up to and God will be faithful to us and God's word um, rings through to us and true to us. We just need to follow God. There was uh, this, the, the scriptures for this weekend are uh, the road to Emmaus, one of my favorite. I love these Easter, these Easter season uh, gospels. Um, some of my favorite portions of scripture. And the precious scriptures about the road to Emmaus where the disciples Jesus was walking with them, and they didn't uh, know what Jesus that Jesus was with them. They didn't recognize Jesus because they were looking for Jesus in a different way. And um, they were kicking the stones. I always like to picture them walking along uh, with their heads down, kicking the stones, and and uh, discouraged about uh, what what they thought should have been and and disappointments and and discouragement um and there's jesus walk right along with them and um I, I love how how jesus jesus is like okay so tell me more tell me more about what's going on he, he's pretending he doesn't know what's happening in jerusalem and um so they tell him but they don't just tell him the story of what has happened during Holy Week and what has happened um, to Jesus and the disciples. They tell the bigger story of God's faithfulness and that rings through. And I know God was smiling when, when God heard that, that story, that precious story. Um, and then Jesus does exactly what he did in the incarnation. He ends up showing up. <laughs> Uh, later on at the meal and God will show up for us in every season of our lives we're in this COVID-19 season I look at it as a season that is suspended we're uh, it's not a definable season um, I know that if you're like me um, you encounter um, when when each thing that you encounter in this COVID-19 season, you, you think, okay, it's supposed to be this way. And things happen exactly the opposite. And it's so odd. One thing that really strikes me being out here in nature as I travel back and forth to the church and to the grocery store, and I, I witness creation blooming everywhere. There's life everywhere yet in the midst of the season there is death everywhere and it it's just it doesn't i i can't calculate it just doesn't calculate with me um but god god knows what's going on 
and God has us in his hands. This morning as I was at home and was prepping, prepping for, the, uh, for the worship service and going over the scriptures, I discovered that Psalm 116, of course I did know that it was 116 was the scripture for this weekend, for the psalm, but uh, the very opening part of that, I love the Lord who has heard my voice and listened to my supplication. For the Lord has given ear to me whenever I called. And that is a, a piece of scripture that Whitney Houston used in her um, I Love the Lord uh, song that she sang for the preacher's wife. I don't know if you know that, uh, that uh, I believe it was 80s, 90s uh, movie. It was a remake. If you, if you know cinema history, you're going to tell me that it was the bishop's wife. It was an earlier movie. But it's one of my favorite movies. I watch it over and over and over. And um, she is a preacher's wife. And she she is the choir director. And uh, wow, what an amazing voice Whitney Houston had. And what an amazing life Whitney Houston had. Um, I watched a, uh, a television interview with her one time. And she was talking about the preacher's wife. And the Georgia Mass Choir uh, uh, singing group, a choir, um, was the choir. They were the church choir for, for this movie. Uh, imagine having Georgia Mass Choir being your church choir. Wow, amazing. Um, but they, uh, she would, w as they were filming the preacher's wife, um, every once in a while, Whitney's history uh, with the church and Whitney, Whitney's bringing up in the church and every once in a while um, when they were filming she said that the director would say cut, cut, cut as they were singing and she said they would just continue on and in her words they would have church they would have church and if you're not familiar with that phrase in the African American churches in the, in the, and in Pentecostal churches in general when somebody has church, that means that spontaneously, wherever you are, you could be in the car, you could be on the sidewalk, you could be in the grocery store, um, wherever it is that you that you are, um, God speaks a word to you, and you just start singing, <laughs> and and you just let loose. <laughs> and uh, Lutherans, I think probably have a similar experience that as you are as you're going through your vocation uh, as you're walking along in life and all of a sudden something reminds you of a hymn or a piece of liturgy and you just sing that piece of liturgy and and you just meditate upon it, it that's you're having church <laughs> um, so I was blessed to find her I love the Lord uh, song on YouTube and was listening to it last night actually and then listened to it again this morning and I was thinking of the ways in which Whitney in her in her complicated life and in, in her struggles in the midst of the demons that she faced in her life with addictions um, I think Whitney um, as she was in her COVID-19 season, as she was in her suspended seasons, seasons, plural, in life, I believe that God showed up occasionally. Um, actually, God was always there, but it was when Whitney realized that Jesus was there, and Jesus showed up, and uh, those were those moments where Whitney had church, and what precious moments they are. I think in my own life, <clears throat> in my COVID-19 seasons, plural, that I've had in my life, um, I think of the times when I felt cut off from the church, um, times when I felt that I wanted to hide from God, too. And in times such as this, when um, I was unable to be with the body of Christ physically and shake hands with my beloved uh, 
children of God, my flock, my, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, the times that we haven't been able to be together. Um, I think it holds true that in my life, all along in those COVID-19 seasons, that there are those blessed moments when Jesus has showed up. And I have had church, um, sometimes completely by myself and God. And there are those resurrection Easter moments in life. I love to call them the good news moments. There are those moments in life when, when it's so glorious that in our time of need and in our in our distress when we do offer supplications to the lord the lord does give ear when we call and i thank god for that this day and i invite you to call upon god at this time and i invite you not to not to dwell so much on the fact that we can't get together and worship, but dwell on the fact that the Holy Spirit who brought Jesus up out of the grave, God who brought Jesus up out of the grave, the Holy Spirit works in our lives and the Holy Spirit calls us up out of our graves. And the Holy Spirit is powerful enough to bring us all together. The Holy Spirit's powerful enough to help us have church. I hope today, as I pray with you, I pray that you realize that Jesus is right there as you're kicking those stones. And God bless you. Be careful. I understand there's some storms coming this afternoon. There's a lot of storms brewing around. But God is there. Peace be with you.